Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. 6 EastEnders Spoilers, George Knight gets a shock during Eddie's murder trial. Jack's suspicions grow, Eve worries about the future and Yolanda is left upset. Warning, this article contains discussions of racist hate crimes and murder. George Knight Colin Salmon receives another shock in upcoming scenes, just as his adoptive father Eddie Knight Christopher Fairbank goes on trial for the racially motivated murder of George's biological father, Henry Kofi Array. Elsewhere, Jack Branning Scott Maslin edges closer to the sixth biggest secret, while Eve Unwin Heather Peace is unsure about a big life decision over her future with Suki Payne Sar Balvinder So Paul. Finally, Jean Slater Gillian Wright steps in to assist Jade Masood Elizabeth Green, and Yolanda Truman Angela Winter is the subject of gossip. As Mother's Day arrives in Walford, Cindy Bale Michelle Collins is excited to celebrate with daughters Gina Francesca Henry and Anna Knight Molly Rainford and son Peter Bale Thomas Law for the first time together. But at the Vic, George is struggling to cope after learning that no DNA matches have been found for him so his birth family can't be traced. Cindy and Elaine Peacock Harriet Thorpe insist it's time George told the girls the truth about his heritage, before the family leaves for Jamaica. George reluctantly agrees, and Gina and Anna are horrified to discover the truth about Eddie and the trial. George's adoptive mum Gloria Knight Elizabeth Council calls the pub, coerced by Eddie into begging George to defend him in court. George pays them a visit, telling them never to contact him and the girls again. But Eddie reveals he has information about George's birth mother, and he'll only hand it over if George gives him a character reference in court the following day. George is in turmoil, and he mulls over Eddie's manipulative ultimatum, with his loved ones desperately worried about him. Elaine asks grandson Johnny Carter Charlie Suff to talk through the legal implications of giving a statement in court, hoping to help George with his decision. But George remains conflicted, until a heart-to-heart -heart with Linda Carter Kelly Bright leads him to trust his gut. At the courts, Gloria is distracted by the arrival of a mysterious woman, while George takes to the stand. In the aftermath of the trial, Elaine is worried sick about George and she and Cindy join forces to get George to calm down for the girl's sake. Then a visitor at the Vic changes everything, and later, Elaine and the girls begin a frantic search for George. But where is he, and who has turned up to see him speaking about George's feelings about his adoptive parents, Salmon explained, George loves Eddie, and some people will think that's bunkers, but this is still his dad. However, in George's mind, he's now thinking, I knew you were a wrong un and I didn't like the way you treated mum, and you bullied us all our lives. Growing up, George thought this was acceptable, but now he knows as a man and a father that it's not, and nobody needs to be like that. So, George is struggling to understand what Eddie did. However, he gets that Gloria loved George so much and he realizes that Eddie must have loved Gloria to do what he did for her so she could keep this baby. It's love, but twisted love. If you have been affected by the issues in this article surrounding racism and hate crime, please visit the website Stop Hate UK for independent and confidential support to people affected by hate crime, including confidential hate crime reporting services in various parts of the UK. For more support, See BBC Action Line. Stacy Slater Lacey Turner and Jack are thrown together as Lily Slater Lilia Turner and Ricky Branning Frankie Day celebrate Mother's Day at Walford East. Ricky and Amy Mitchell Ellie Dodd beg Jack to let them see stepmom Denise Fox Diane Parrish in hospital, and he promises to speak to Chelsea Fox Zara Abrahams to try and make it happen. But Denise is refusing to see anyone and Johnny insists that Stacy must get to Denise before Jack or the kids do, so as to stop the murderous secret being exposed. Johnny piles on the pressure for Stacy to sort the issue for the sake of all the women, so she asks Denise to let her visit. At the hospital, 
Denise tells Stacy she's no longer having visions of Kenu Taylor Danny Walters, but she wants to stay put. Stacy argues that Denise needs her loved ones around her, but at that moment, Jack walks in and demands to know what Stacy is doing there. Stacy thinks on her feet with a convincing cover story, but Jack is hurt when Denise continues to reject him. When Denise talks to Dr. Abe later, she explains that she feels safe in hospital and wants to stay. Meanwhile, Jack is still rattled by Stacy and Denise's bond, and starts doing some digging. Will he uncover the truth about Kinu's murder?